What is going on, people? What's up, YouTube? What is up, Diesel Community? What is up, everybody? Uh, real quick, if you're new to this channel, this is the intro video and a little explanation of what is going on with everything. All right, so you guys already know me. My name is Cameron. Uh, I already have a current YouTube channel, uh, Cam Cummins 92. That channel is still going to stay up. This is just that channel is going to be for my other project I got going on, my Buick Riviera. Um, I'm going to dedicate that channel solely to that to that cause. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I wanted to do another channel for my 2008 uh, Dodge Ram 2500 Cummins because if you don't know I'm huge into diesel and I'm huge into diesel aftermarket and performances more specifically uh, Cummins is like mainly okay so with that being said I got this video I'm doing right now uh, I'm uploading the video currently inside the house and I'm recording this video that way you guys can know what's going on uh, if you want to watch diesel videos watch this watch this channel subscribe to this channel uh, this is where all my diesel stuff is going gonna be going on from now on uh, it's brand new zero subscribers z like one video up all right I also got an Instagram I made for the channel okay it's gonna be everything I'm gonna put it it's gonna be like somewhere here <laughs> all right it's gonna be everything Cummins or I'm sorry everything diesel that's it everything so like every then instead of thing it's thing underscore diesel that's me okay that's gonna be the channel I'm gonna have the link in the comments in this description and I'm also gonna you know make it like that all right so with that being said we're now transitioning everything when it comes to the comments over to this channel so I was gonna do some videos today uh, some mods to kind of get the channel rolling get it started um, but I kind of don't have the time right now just because the sun's going down and I I can't stand working in the dark and my trucks too tall to go in the garage in here so we're gonna just I'm just gonna tell you guys what is going on uh, future project mods I will be if you guys now you gotta follow follow the Instagram page because the Instagram page I'm gonna be taking sneak peeks and like upcoming projects so you guys can see what's going on all right I'm not always gonna say what I'm doing next what's next what's next you know I kind of want to make it fun and kind of have it suspenseful a little bit so follow the Instagram page because if I put sneak peeks up there and guess what the first person get it right they might get something or a shout out or anything so you don't know what's gonna be going on so follow the channel first of all so hit that subscribe button hit that like button for this video and then follow the Instagram page all right we got this community going on uh, so far this is way 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 out out there but what I'm trying to get rolling is I'm trying to get a community rolling out here um, I'm on I'm just gonna say that I'm in North Carolina um, I know diesel is huge in North Carolina especially where I'm at so I'm trying to get a community rolling uh, I think I got a lot of projects I can do with the Cummins I got a lot of videos so I'm looking forward to uh, doing this stuff uh, real quick I will give you guys the next mod that is coming up for the truck if I can find it. I have to find it first. Uh, no, 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 no. Huh. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to look for it right now and waste time. I'm just going to tell you what's going on. So, next mod I'm going to be doing is going to be the CCV Delete. Okay, if you don't know, the CCV, I, I'll show you in a second, but pretty much, long story short, it is almost, it's kind of like a miniature version. It's just crankcase gases that are getting pushed back into your turbo so old school diesels had it where it would just go out into the atmosphere but they did that way when they came up with the new EPA regulations for diesels back in like 2007 whenever uh, this truck is affected by that so I have a tube running from my crankcase side down to my turbo and it's just shoving all those gases fumes and oils down into the turbo it's gonna destroy your turbo uh, get rid of it you know delete it and just let it be free and that's what we're gonna be doing in the next upcoming video uh, it will not be this video but I will show you guys and I want to find the, the stuff so I can show you where the parts are oh here it is found it all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick walk around of the truck show you guys what what's going on what this truck is about and give you a little background on it and then I'm going to show you the DPF um, the DF, the DPF, uh, well not DF, oh my god, not DPF, crankcase delete kit, alright, so BRB, and we will get back to, I'll get back to you in a minute, 
Yo, yo, YouTube, I'm back. All right, so check it out. I'm gonna do a walk around first and let you guys see what, what we're working with. So this is my 2008 Dodge, because it was still called Dodge back then, 2500 Cummins, okay, 6.7. Uh, I've had it since December of 2016 and I've had nothing but praises for this truck. It is an amazing truck. Uh, I love this truck so much. This is my baby, my pride and joy, next to my Buick project in there. But this one comes first because she's my everyday driver. Uh, this is my baby. She's extremely dirty right now. Um, I'm gonna wash her this weekend, as long as it doesn't rain. But I love this truck to death. Um, it's been nothing but a good truck to me. And, you know, I feel like I have the stuff that I'm doing, I can put it out there for you guys to see and to enjoy. Yep, that's right. It already has an axle dump along with a DPF delete. I did all that already. Okay. Uh, got my little stickers back there. That's the aircraft I work on. Shout out to the CH53 community. What, what? Okay, so this is it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, background with this truck. Uh, I bought this in San Diego, California, back when I told y'all when I purchased it. it Pre-owned, obviously. I got a pretty good deal for it. Um, I came from a 6.0 Cummins, and for those of y'all, for those of y'all that don't know, uh, 6.0 Cummins was not the best. It was a first, my first diesel truck, um, nonetheless. So we'll just leave it like that. L completely night and day difference coming from a 6.0 Cummins to a Power Stroke. Believe it or not, there are a, not a lot, but one or two things that actually the power stroke had over this but other than that dude this truck this truck destroys that that truck in a heartbeat uh i'm gonna talk about performance and stuff since that's i know that's what you guys probably want to hear about so with the truck i don't have any crazy aftermarket mods right now uh just your basic dpf i did a uh, dpf delete down the bottom uh egr delete she's gone you see this pipe right here for the rewrite the coolant that's gonna be cold air intake I got this from uh, now everything I'm listening so far. I got all this from Rudy's Diesel, by the way. SB cold air intake. I love it. I love the way it makes a turbo whistle. I got the block plate, like most deletes, and then I got the throttle valve delete. I got this on eBay for like 30 bucks. Uh, it was super cheap. I'm running Red Top Optimal batteries. I bought these last summer because the ones that were on there was a boat battery here when I bought this truck, but yeah. Um, I did the oil change yesterday. That video is getting uploaded right now to the channel. I just wanted to make it a priority to make an intro video so you guys know what I'm working with. Uh, yeah, so that way you guys wouldn't be like, oh man, this is so random. But yeah, just a little background, you know, what I am, what I do, you know, who, who, what, when, where, why, and stuff. She, the engine's dirty, the truck's dirty. Um, it's, it's a filth right now, it's a mess. Even on the inside, it's messed up. Uh, oh yeah, also, I, I put on these headlights already. I did this all last summer, except for the, yeah, I did the lead two last summer. Put on new smoked headlights, although they are going to be getting take, taken off for clear lenses. Um, I'm going to be running LEDs because my lighting is horrible at nighttime, and I live kind of out in the country, so it gets dark at night if you if you guys from the country know what I'm talking about. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll open it. I'm, I'm embarrassed for showing you guys this. <laughs> it's so filthy in here. It's a mess. Uh, this is a mega cab. I also installed that aftermarket Pioneer radio. Uh, I did that myself like back in November. Uh, it gets the job done. It's not no crazy radio, uh, AM, FM, Bluetooth, DVD, uh, reverse camera feature, you know, all that stuff. Back seats now. I gotta fix this. It keeps popping out because the tabs broke off. Gotta fix that up. Uh, this is a mega cab, by the way. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> In that huge chunk right here but this is a mega cab it is so spacious back here i love it people love it when they ride in my truck uh, at work all my boys they always want to take my truck because they got the most room and you know you sit up high and stuff so i love you know i love driving it and i'm fine with people riding in the truck too so so be it uh let's see when i bought the truck the man had uh put a front end leveling kit on it blocks right there that's a block he put that on um i'm not a fan of it i'm eventually going to put a three inch or a four inch lift on it um with some extended bill uh was it 5100 shocks uh it has bill on it right now but they're shot and it rides kind of rough so it's we got a lot of stuff to do to this girl she's so filthy look at all this 
all that mess right there. Running all the way down. I got to wash and wax and detail her. Uh, trying to think of anything else. Yeah, I'm rocking a Flo Flow Pro 5 inch straight pipe all the way back from the turbo uh, with a 8 inch axle dump tip. If you guys want links to, to uh, I don't know if you can see that down there. Probably not because the lighting sucks. But maybe you can see from the side. Nope, it still sucks. But yeah, if you guys want, if you guys want links or questions about anything that I've put on my truck, oh, I almost forgot one more thing. Anything about the truck, just uh, drop it in the comment box. Hit me up, okay? And I'm answer. I answer all comments, so don't be, don't think you know you're gonna ask and never get an answer. I don't have my keys on me right now, but I'm also running the HNS Mini Max. I can almost completely forgot about the tuner. Running the HNS Mini Max. Um, it's not like custom ported files or anything. It's just your standard tunes. But nonetheless, it still runs like a boss. So, uh, yeah, that's it, really. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys and talk about this mod, the next, the first mod coming up, or the next mod coming up on the coming. So, here we have a crankcase CCV leak kit. Uh, I got this. Oh, camera was even showing it. I got this off eBay, 40 bucks. Came with a little filter. I'm gonna regret this in it later because these spray oil everywhere. I, what I really need to do is just run a rubber hose down the side, but I already bought it, so I kind of didn't want to turn it back. You got the plug. This plug is gonna go down, down by your intake. So if you look over here, this plug right here, this is your CCV pipe. All right, this is gonna run down into, down into uh, the side of your uh, intake. So what I'm gonna do is pr completely remove this gonna put the filter here put the plug down there on the intake side put the clamps on it tighten it down and that's pretty much it and also I'm gonna be taking off the cover and gutting out the CCV filter all right uh, it's a filter in there that when it gets clogged you, you will get a perform service light on your overhead display dash whatever you get a you get a perform service light um, that's caused from that or either your DPF filter is clogged so uh, I'm gonna gut it out. There's a mod video on YouTube that shows you how to do it. Um, it seems pretty simple, so we're gonna be doing that to this truck. That way I will never have to worry about that. Plus, I feel like it's not even necessary because, well, fuck CCV filters and all that crap. Let, it, let the truck live, long live diesels. All right, so that is going to be the next mod coming up. Uh, we're gonna wrap this video up because I don't want it to be too long. I just wanted this to be an introduction to the channel, to the truck. Let me close the hood real quick what's going on and you know about myself and stuff uh but yeah all right so we're gonna wrap this video up all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up sun's going down it's getting cold out here <laughs> tell me what you think about the walk around of the truck tell me what you think about the channel tell me what you think about the build uh, future plans and stuff i love to hear feedback from you guys if you guys like the videos and whatnot let me know comment let me know um I really want to see this this take off. I really want to see progress get done uh, with this channel. So I'm going to be pushing hard on this channel. And so if you guys are liking what I'm putting out, just do me that favor. Just give me a thumbs up and give me the subscribe if you want to keep seeing content. I mean, I'm telling you, don't sleep on me. We got a lot of stuff coming to this truck. I got parts in here. I'm not going to show you what the parts are. If you follow the Instagram tomorrow, I will take a picture and upload what's going to be coming up soon other than the CCV filter because I got something else that's more exciting than that. So, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, definitely, you're not, you're not going to miss out on good content. Uh, there's not a whole lot of third gen mega cab channels out there where people are making builds and stuff. I mean, there's, uh, there's trucks there, but they're not like dedicated YouTube channels. You know what I'm saying? So if you want, if you like third gen mega cabs, if you like six, seven Cummings, if you like diesel trucks, period, subscribe to the channel you know what's the worst thing that can happen you don't like it then you just hit unsubscribe so with that being said you guys have a good night stay safe be blessed okay and i will see you guys in the next video peace